Hi brothers and sisters, welcome to the channel brothers and sisters. Today is Feel Good Monday. Feel Good Monday. Uh, you know, we've been going through a heavy fog. We've been carrying heavy spirits. We've been feeling like there's been a cloud over us. So uh, I want us to set the precedence for the, for, 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 for the, how our week is gonna be i want us to set a precedence that we are gonna have a good week and uh we are going to be walking in this week with high spirits in the mighty name of jesus uh today i just want to bring a, a word for you and this word uh, i'm gonna uh, touch on a scripture and and share the word with you this scripture is first samuel chapter 16 verse 7 there's something in the scripture that I want to, to use for the message I'm going to give today. Uh, the, the scripture says, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outside appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. It says the, the Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outside appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Uh, there's so many instances in the Bible outside of this one where, you know, people looked at outside appearance of a situation. Think of the story of Goliath and David. You know, Goliath in the Bible was described as this huge giant and his physique and the so-called ammunition he had, the swords and all the brass plates were described in great detail. When you go read the story of Goliath and David, and David was this small little man who nobody could have even thought stood a chance or had, had could be in the same ring, if I put it like that way, with Goliath. But hey, God did not care about the size. God did not care about um, the, 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 the outside appearance, which is what we men uh, tend to, 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 to focus on, the outside appearance uh, of the situation. That's what we judge our, our chance of success on, the outside appearance. And my son has, this, has introduced me into the world of monster trucks. It's battered right now, but this is my son's monster truck, which was broken and mommy kind of tried to salvage it. So that's my son's monster truck. And he also likes these little cars. I don't know what they're called, but so you see, this is the monster truck huge and this little car that other cars that he tends to like. And I was looking at these two and I was saying, you know, a monster truck is huge, huge tires. It just looks like it has power. And then there's this little, little cars that next to a monster truck truly like guys, like next to each other, it's, it's like a joke. And I was thinking of uh, how the engine, which is invisible in this instance, the engine is the driving force of the car. It's not, it's a physical appearance. It's not how huge it looks. I think of the Formula One cars, the engine is the driver of the car and the engine determines, it's it's like horsepower, how fast it, it can go. So this little thing here, next it, next to this, this is a joke, next to this little thing. This is like, um, uh, what do we say? We always say that a person is a, what is that word? I forgot it. You know when uh, dynamites come in small packages, that's what people, the expression people say. Dynamites come in small packages. Uh, so so, so what, what am I trying to put across here? My brother and sister, I don't know what your situation is. I don't know what situation seems impossible to you. Uh, based on your the outside appearance of it. I don't know what job seems like you are not qualified for. I don't know what, um, what you're going through say in your marriage in your relationship i don't know what you're going through with your child in the mighty name of jesus i don't know what you're going through health wise but i just want to say to you with the lord it doesn't matter how big it looks how the mountain how big the mountain looks the lord says with him he doesn't look at he you see we are judging it according to its a physical appearance according to uh what say for example the job spec says it says that it needs somebody with this experience with these qualifications but god says that nothing is impossible with him meaning that he can bring favor uh, over that situation he can speak a word and what seems like a mountain what seems like a monster truck what seems so big in front of you he can solve with your little mustard seed faith he can solve with that little mustard seed faith why because that's all that he needs the little mustard seed faith 
that's all that you need to be able to conquer that situation in the mighty name of Jesus so you might be tired you might be feeling like you can't keep going but just that little faith all I want you to do this week is hang on to the little bit of faith that you have yes over the time you believed with every single might you believed with all your heart but over time your your heart got weary as um and it says hope deferred makes the heart uh, uh, sick. You have been getting tired. You have been getting weary. And you are saying, I don't have any more faith. And I'm saying all it needs is a mustard seed kind of uh, size of faith. All it needs is a little faith for you to just be able to cross that, um, that Jordan. So my brother and sister, uh, as we start this week, I want you to think of my son's battered monster truck and say, situation, you look big in front of me. In my physical eyes, the way I judge things according to the, the judgment of men, I see it as a monster truck. But God says, no, he doesn't judge it according to its how it looks, how you, the world perceives it. He says it's what's inside. It's the engine driving it. That's the horsepower that's what's going to determine who gets to the finish line first that's going to determine the victory in the mighty name of Jesus the little faith you have is gonna get you in the mighty name of Jesus so don't undermine where you are you might be looking at other people who seem to have it all who seem to have so much faith that they are pouring it into other people and you are saying, all I have is a little bit of faith, but the horsepower backing it in the mighty name of Jesus, the horsepower backing this, oh, our God doesn't care how big it looks. He just needs the little faith you have. Nothing is impossible with God. With God, all things are possible. This is our word for the week. This is our feel good Monday. I want you to just believe and trust that the little you have is enough to help you cross that river in the mighty name of Jesus. You are gonna get there in the mighty name of Jesus. Hold on to that. When the enemy tries to, do, to say to you, uh, how could you possibly think you can take this on? Say, I have little faith and that's just enough with my God because he will fool it he will back it up and I will be able to get to the finish line in the mighty name of Jesus brothers and sisters be blessed I hope you have an amazing week I have I hope you have a God-filled week I hope the Holy Spirit burns inside of you it might be a little spark but that's just enough that's enough hold on keep that keep blowing blow life into that spark blow life into that spark eventually it will catch fire and it will be a consuming fire by the grace uh, and, 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 and the love of, of our Father in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Be blessed and have an amazing week. Uh, all these things I say in the mighty name of our Savior, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.